Hello everybody, this is your host Yoshi. Just gonna talk about uh, pretty much what I plan on doing for the week and a bit of politics. Uh, since we got the election going on uh, soon in the United States, as well as everything that's going on. Um, but I should have the motivation to uh, put out some gaming videos. Uh, past few days has been uh, kind of hard on me. I got insomnia. Sometimes I stay up way too late, and since I have roommates, I can't always do some gaming at night. If I didn't have roommates, I would probably be uh, doing a whole lot of nighttime gaming, but since I do, I try to do gaming when they're not around. Which is normally uh, during the daytime. I'm doing some editing on the surge for part of a video. I'm gonna try to finish the rest of looking for a little Johnny, taking a whole lot longer than what I thought it would. Uh, disintegration. I forgot to uh, do some grinding on that. I will have to do some of that either today or in the next couple days. Moonlighter. I am uh, should be able to beat the dungeon boss this time around. Uh, don't know though. It's, uh, it's a lot harder than what I thought it would be. I mean the game is like a casual roguelike game. But it's still pretty uh, pretty hard. Uh, downloaded a few games to play during my off time. I have yet to test them out though. When you don't have the motivation, it's really hard to play games. And depression can really zap your motivation. Weekend was pretty good though. Chilled a lot. Um, hung out with a friend the other day. <coughs> I mean, I usually just do my normal, which is binge watch TV and smoke a lot of weed. Though I'm probably smoking more than what I need to be smoking. But. We are living through a pandemic, a racial uprising, a rigged election. <coughs> Sorry. With everything that's going on, there's a bit more stress. <coughs> and I'm not the only one feeling it. I mean, I know in legal states, uh, the amount of cannabis being bought has uh, jumped up. And that's because, yeah, a lot of people are stuck inside. They're stressed out over everything that's going on. And so, they need some weed. Happy 420, everybody. No, it's not technically 420, but it's been 4 minutes and 20 seconds. <laughs> um, so, uh, Trump admitted to rigging the election, or at least, uh, <coughs> sabotaging the post office in order to uh, prevent mail-in voting, even though he wants the swing state to do mail-in voting. Uh, he admitted that last week, and the fact that, uh, the government has done nothing. It shows that they're all corrupt. I mean, the Debs um, came back to government after uh, 
going on break to question Louis DeJoy, a Republican Trump donor. Um, in my opinion, I mean, the fact that nothing really has been done. I mean, Trump should be arrested over all this. Uh, messing with the post office the way he's doing. The fact that he gave a seat to somebody who's just uh, donating money to him and not somebody that has actual knowledge of the workings of the post office uh, shows there is an extreme amount of corruption and no one no one's doing anything about it <coughs> and it's th that's the fact that because uh, uh, selling government uh, positions is nothing new it's just Trump is more blatant about it and it's because we're we're close to the end of uh, capitalism in America, as basically as well as the American system. Uh, late stage capitalism. Now they're just so blatant about it all because they don't care, and they know they're going to be jumping ship soon. I mean, look at uh, what Trump has been doing uh, these past few years. Look at the last few administrations and how it's all been set up basically uh, for fascism and a dictatorship to be set up. The NDAA allowing the military to arrest and detain people without charge or trial. Uh, the ability of the government to kill anyone uh, they want no matter where they are without due process uh, uh, due to... Uh, um, several Americans, especially a 16-year-old American being drone-bombed by the Obama administration um, uh, for uh, uh, supposed crimes of terrorism, um, even if you're a terrorist, uh, you got due process. Um, we got Trump. who is just extremely blatant about about it all um, using the position of presidency to make money uh, promote other businesses like uh, when he was promoting uh, the Goya company um, his uh, ability to uh, have his uh, stuff go on at his various businesses and charge the taxpayers for it, or charge various biz or leaders of other nations to go to his golf course or his hotels. It's, it shows an extreme amount of corruption, and the fact that the government has done nothing to actually stop it shows there's a lot of corruption. But um, it's not like uh, uh, revolving door politicians aren't a thing where business people become politicians, politicians become business people, and they help each other out in themselves because they all have a vested interest in keeping the rich rich. And the democratic side is not that better. I mean, they, they're slightly for less war, slightly for helping uh, minorities, the oppressed, and others a little bit more than the Republicans. <coughs> I mean, again, look at the Obama administration. During the Occupy protests, when the cops were assaulting people, tear gassing people, um, injuring people, kidnapping people, what did the Obama administration do? Nothing whatsoever. The the Democratic uh, administ the Dems are they're like Republican diets. Um, libertarians are just uh, Republicans with weed. Yeah, uh, all of these a lot of these political parties are pretty much just. Uh, uh, trash political parties that still 
um, is all about uh, maintaining white supremacy. The Democratic Party just do it with the with while well, pretending to care about everybody else. But look at Biden. He helped craft bills that uh, uh, gave harsher sentences for black people using cocaine compared, I mean, using crack, because crack was a cheaper drug at the time. It's no different than cocaine. Uh, just cut. Uh, wealthy white people would use cocaine. Um, poor black people would use crack. It's, and so Biden decided to give the crack users uh, a harsher punishment. Uh, and we all know why, because Biden is racist, and uh, targeting black people for jail is a great way of re-enslaving black people. Oh, and if you're wondering, I'm mixed. Yes, I got a red beard, uh, Norwegian, German. Swedish, whatever, on my mom's side, she's a bit of a mutt. Um, my dad's Haitian. And yes, the Haitians did uh, fight the French in the Haitian Revolution. Uh, the largest uh, slave uh, revolt since the unsuccessful Spartacus revolt against the uh, Roman Republic. Uh, except that this time, this revolt was successful. Uh, it led to a free nation, it, though uh, the Haitians were put into extreme debt due to the racism of the French and forcing the uh, Haitians to pay for their freedom. Uh, the slave, the revolt of the Haitians led to extreme fear in the colonies, which led to the uh, 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 the, the colonists to uh, get even worse on uh, the slaves in the United States to prevent uh, further uprisings. So they, there have been, there were several uprisings um, during the uh, early days of the United States when we still had slaves. Um, it's just when they happened, uh, basically all those people would be killed, and then the states, the, the colonies would, uh, pass stricter laws preventing, uh, slaves from getting education and stuff, so that there would be less revolts. Uh, so tell me what you guys did over the weekend. I would like to know, um... Uh, also, how do you guys feel about schools reopening in your area? Uh, in my city, Bradley County, well, in my city, Cleveland, and county, Bradley County, they are allowing uh, asymptomatic teachers to, uh, uh, shoot, uh, skip quarantine. Um, as long as they wear some kind of PPE, but uh, they're probably not going to be mandated, uh, probably especially by some of the schools here. And we're going to see an, um, an extreme uh, rise in the cases amongst the students here. I know in Georgia it's getting pretty bad, in a lot of places it is as well. There has been a 40% increase in students with uh, COVID-19 cases. There's a 2-3% to 3 mortality rate and the talking figures expect a 2-3% two, two to 3% mortality rate amongst the students. So guys, uh, so far, what? We've been told we gotta sacrifice the elderly. We've been told we gotta sacrifice some of the workers, and now we're being told we gotta sacrifice some of the students and kids. 
there's like 51.6 million kids that go to school in the United States. That's going to be 18 million people that die if this continues. I hope you guys have a good time. I'm going to get some games and stuff uh, worked on. Peace out.